what's going on guys it's Gary and today we're guys the top five designs of the week week number eight and a pretty awesome week I have to say I went through all these entries about a couple hours ago and I was only pleased with everything it was a really awesome week I was really stoked on everything that was entered and I picked out my top five I was gonna have a couple honorable mentions but I'm gonna save that for later on kind of videos when it gets a little built up a little more but uh, other than that, I have nothing else to say, so let's get right into it. For the fifth number spot, we have Erland Graphics, and he's doing a, I'm pretty sure it's a Twitter header for Arrowworks, and this piece was actually pretty sick. I like the whole entire melting style and kind of the dripping style. What The reason why I didn't give it kind of a higher score, I gave it an 8.0, is just because of the lighting you used. It was just a kind of little awkward situation, and the... Uh, the badge itself is a little hard to read. Also, the uh, text to the right of it, I'm not really a big fan of putting text just randomly in things just to kind of put it there to fill up space. It just kind of looks a little awkward, but other than that, you did a really good job and I gave you fifth spot. So uh, for the fourth spot, we have Blake and he is making a Twitter header as well for I think Kaz. And I know you probably didn't do a lot to this background, but it honestly looks sick. You did a really good job putting it all together and making sure everything kind of sinks in the one spot. If there could be one thing I could say about it, it's kind of blending in that rectangle behind the text to kind of fit it in more. And the logo in the bottom middle just looked a little weird kind of placed there. So uh, something I'll kind of fix on and then uh, blending of the bottom right hand corners and bottom left hand corner stocks just a little bit more because it's just kind of like throwing around. Other than that, you did a really good job and I gave you an 8.5. For the third spot, we have kind of a more 3D kind of trippy style, and this is from Link Up. I gave him a 9.4. I really like this style. It was really cool just to look at and uh, see the different kind of things he did. The reason why I gave it a 9.4 and not a higher score is just because of the uh, kind of those orange, not orange, excuse me, the uh, scion, the blue, and the purple colored uh, tripping oil styles stuff. I don't, even, I don't know what to call them, honestly. They're, uh, they're just a little like, weirdly placed, honestly. Like they're, Sometimes they're just not coming from something up in the top right hand corner, just kind of placed there. I can see it's not really blended into anything. But uh, it's kind of just the style, but you did a really good job creating everything. Maybe blending in that uh, Cinema 4D stock a little bit more could have helped. But other than that, you did a really good job, and I gave you third spot. For the second spot, we have kind of the... This is kind of a really hard situation to choose from second and first. So uh, you guys can pretty much wait a little bit. You guys will see first in a little second. But uh, second place is really awesome. It's from Sin Sin's Concepts. And he got a 9.8 on this. And if you guys can just look at it and see the metallic and kind of how everything was put together. He did a really good job blending everything together. And it just looks like... It just looks amazing, honestly. The reason why this is second plot, like the second spot, not the first, was just because of the little, like, kind of place there issue in the middle and kind of didn't have any, uh, kind of depth or character. And the uh, kind of text in the bottom right hand corner of the logo, I told you that text, it just gets to me for some reason. It just kind of looks a little, like a little weirdly placed. But uh, other than that, you did a really insane job. I love how you added the uh, blurred stocks in the top right hand corner and the top left hand corner. I told those people that always do that in my videos to blur them a little bit more. You did a really good job putting it all together, and I'm super stoked to give you second place. So for first spot, we have another full 10, and this is from Max Envisions. A lot of people know him about uh, Sore Max, I'm pretty sure. And honestly, this thing was amazing. There's really nothing you can say bad about it. He put everything together perfectly. He made sure all the colors were put together well, and the text fit everything perfectly. So uh, I gave him a 10 out of this. This is really amazing. This is honestly awesome. I actually checked with him when I first saw this on my uh, my Google forms. I had to like message him. I was like, this is actually you. Because I know a lot of people submit stuff that's just random like famous people or random like known people as you can call them. But uh, other than that, you did a really good job. I love how you made sure the Caesar was like spelt out and uh, placed differently. And made sure those three letters on each side kind of making it more symmetric. Other than that, you did a really great job. I said it again. And you got first spot and a full score of 10. So if you guys like this series, leave a thumbs up. If you guys have any questions or comments or concerns, let me know in the comments below. If you guys want to tool around with my new logo, there will be a link in the description. You guys can submit that as your top five entry, and I can totally put some honorable mentions if you start using my logo and stuff. It's kind of pretty, gonna be kind of pretty cool. Maybe I'll have a uh, full like top 10 series just based off like my my logo and my kind of channel or something. But uh, other than that, if you want to submit your content or your designs, look at the form that is the description below. Other than that, I have really nothing else to say. Thank you guys so much for 6,600 subscribers. We're gaining on 7K so fast, and I have no idea what I'm going to do yet. But uh, I hope to see you guys later on, and thank you guys so much for all the great support. Peace out.